today. She beat Jennifer Pizzanti of Italy earlier on. It's the first uh, time on the mat for Kalita Zupancic of Canada. She had a bye in the first round. Do you know her, this Canadian girl? I don't. I don't know Zupancic. We could have a quick look and um, check her record. Scoring Yuko for this sort of comic. Well, what we can see from our um, judoinside.com is that the Canadian is a 19 year old. She picked up a bronze medal at the World Cup in Belo Horizonte in Brazil a couple of months ago in July. And uh, she was also at the Grand Prix in Tunis where she was fifth. Probably she will fight in the World Championships under 20 years in Paris next month. Could be. Could be that. This is part of that uh, that preparation and that build-up. In this fight, she's leading on. Leads by Yuko at the moment. Two Yukos now because um, Kati got penalized again. Well, the women's plus 78 kilo category has started up on uh, mat three so we may get a chance to have a look at that in a minute we'll just finish off seeing um, Katharina Hilgo and uh, Kalita Zupancic Canadian girl leads at the moment by two Yukos very active, always going on, going in with her left side first. Well, I don't know what the um, the crowd is thinking about at the moment as far as lunch is concerned. It's midday here in the UK. It may be lunchtime where you are in uh, Central Europe, maybe a little bit later if you're further, uh, further to the east. But it's midday here and I think Miriam is looking for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps soon. Not after that big breakfast you had, eh? <laughs> well... The English uh, breakfast, I had to try it. How was your English breakfast? Um, <laughs> interesting. New. Full, yeah? Full. <laughs> and hot. Yeah, it was a lot of choice. <laughs> but yeah, the English are very keen on a cooked, hot breakfast yeah. in the morning. Normally I have like uh, just a roll and... Uh, Something healthy. Cheese or yogurt. <laughs> Well, Kati Hilga doesn't look good in this match. Again, she's not able to um, get the, um, the arm to pull. So 
her attacks are not really dangerous to Supan Chick. Yeah, just um, missing something at the moment, the German girl. Well, that's nice, aren't they? Thanking the GB World Cup sponsor. I'm not sure if he's... Is he here? I haven't... I haven't seen him, but um, William Smith, a very generous sponsor of the GB World Cup since uh, 2006. Uh, and I know that the relationship with British Judo is up to and including London 2012. So... Um, six or seven years by the time that comes through of support and sponsorship for British Judo, which is very, uh, very useful, especially now of course. <laughs> when things are pretty difficult. Well, Helga beginning to chase Zupanchik around the tatami now. Needs to do this Standing up, just under 40 seconds left. You get the feeling that one really big effort will do it. But where it's going to come from, I don't know. Ooh. It's just the control that's missing. The effort is there, yeah. obviously, but... Mm -hmm. It's just the control in her techniques to um, bring it to the ground that is missing. Oh, oh almost uh, caught. Again, Yuko, Yuko against her. Doesn't look good. Just 15 seconds to go for it's my teammate. <laughs> it's going to have to be really big here. So I hope she, w she can pull something out in the last 14 seconds. Meanwhile, the French girl in heavyweight scored against Adlington. I think they may have put the score on the wrong side. Or no score at all. Because the refereeing commission is looking at that. But we've run out. So it's Zupanchik that goes.